Hi everyone, nice meeting you again on this channel, Bali Tourism Media, where it's always focused on providing some information about Bali Tourism Update on a regular basis. If you are looking for your holiday to Bali, or you are working in the tourism hospitality industry as a travel planner, tour operators, travel agencies, travel houses, travel DMCs, and the like, you are on the right channel to review and to be able to know more details for an update of Bali Tourist Destination. On this opportunity in early March, I'll accompany you for a virtual visit to South Kuta area as I would like to show you the right situation this time after the Bali International Airport is open for international visitors since early February. Please keep watching this video as at the end I'll also inform the plan to re-implement Bali Visa on arrival policy. Why Bali Visa and why not Indonesia Visa? Kuta tourist destination area which has been really famous in the world. It is one of the tourist destinations in Bali which is really affected in tourism sector as well as some other tourism support here due to the pandemic. Kuta Tourist Destination is located on the southern island of Bali. It is close to Bali International Airport of Murarai, which can be reached 10 to 15 minutes drive. As a tourist destination, the area has grown since many years. The main attraction, besides the culture, is the beautiful nature panorama the stretch white sandy beach from south to the north is in high demand by tourists traveling to Bali. Most travelers would spend their time to visit Kuta Beach while they are traveling to Bali, the island of paradise. Various budget accommodations are available to choose from. Therefore, they are well known in the world from backpackers to high class tourists to stay here in Kuta. The beautiful and stunning sunset always complement the beauty along the beach in Kuta. Many activities for visitors are available around the beach area for relaxing, sunbathing, jogging, swimming, surfing, and how to learn to surf and Balinese traditional massas. Bars, restaurants, live music, nightlife entertainment are always completing every visitor's journey. For those who would like hanging around in the evening, meet some friends and gathering, etc. Before the pandemic, on this Kuta Street area was always crowded and heavy traffic. Lots of international visitors were going around from morning to midnight. However, this time is still not so many movement of vehicles even though Bali tourism has been open for international visitors since early February. There are some hindering factors which are still as obstacles upon the opening of Bali tourism for international visitors. Therefore, international carriers are still reluctant to start operating the international flight to Bali because of travel regulations are not clear enough and keeps changing all the times. By the way, the latest hot news, the Indonesia central government is planning to implement quarantine free as of mid of March for those international visitors who got fully vaccinated at least two weeks prior to departure. However, they are still subject to first RT-PCR test to be made upon arrival in Bali airport and the second one is on the third day in the hotel where the visitors stay with the cost to be on visitors own account. Secondly, re-implementing visa on arrival for only certain countries, especially for the nearest neighboring countries. 
worthwhile for other countries which will not be included on the visa on arrival list, they should still have to apply e-visa. The visa on arrival will be valid for international visitors or passengers arriving via Bali International Airport and Bali Seaport only. This preliminary visa on arrival re-implementation will not be valid for international visitors arriving other than Bali International Airport. In fact, there have been 23 countries on the proposal list which are eligible for visa on arrival as well as quarantine free. However, I cannot let you know right now as the official circular letter has not been issued yet from the central government. All Bali tourism stakeholders are eagerly waiting for it. Kindly note, Bali travel regulation will keep changing and hope a better improvement policy to apply. By the way everyone, as we have seen together on this virtual tour, the tourism situation right now in Kuta and South Kuta close to Bali airport area is still very silent. Most tourism service sectors such as restaurants, beauty and spa treatment services, travel agencies, money changes, tour counters, car rental, motorbike rental, handicraft and Balinese souvenir shops art markets, other tourism supports are mostly still closed. Only a few hotels are open with limited rooms to sell for domestic visitors. Please continue watching this video till the end to be able to know the update situation of Kuta Tourist Destination Area.
I believe this tourism update is useful as what you are looking for. Please do subscribe and click the bell icon to be able to get my next videos related to Bali tourism update on a regular basis. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. Any questions and or any positive comment to improve this channel, please do it on comment space box provided on this video. Thanks for watching, stay safe and see you on my next videos.